back to DeFi tactics. Remember, this is not financial advice. Do not make any financial decisions based on my word alone. Always do your own research. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and drop me a comment in the comment section below. For today, we're gonna get into Algify. What it is, why we wanna use it, when can we expect to use it, and a little demo of the interface. So let's jump into it. So Algify, what is it and why do we wanna use it? And what makes it such a big deal? This is on the Algorand website and in the About Algify section, it says Algify is a fast, low cost crypto lending market on the Algorand blockchain that makes decentralized lending broadly accessible. So similar to your Aave or Compound in that ballpark. What makes it a big deal? Algify's simple fiat on-ramp allows users to buy crypto and earn interest without a bank or centralized custodian, meaning your keys, your crypto, your funds. We're not relying on a bank or any third party. Additionally, there will be fiat on-ramping. So we can get our dollars, euros, whatever we're using from our bank into our crypto without that centralized third party. Another thing to highlight is Algify is able to facilitate subsent transactions that settle in seconds because it's being built on the Algorand blockchain. This is the main Algofy splash page. You can get to it by going to algofy.org. And as you can see here, it says, you know, decentralized finance, fast, low cost lending market on Algorand blockchain. So we can take out collateralized loans on our crypto assets, or we can supply those assets to earn a much higher yield than a, a traditional bank. Algify is taking steps towards becoming the first crypto native bank, aiming to bridge the gap between DeFi and CeFi. Again, they're going to offer algorithmic money market, earning some high percentages, and savings accounts, again, earning high percentage APYs. Scrolling down a little farther, we can see the timeline tentatively. Q3 2021, they launched a testnet, which is already out. Q3, getting into Q4, looking to release the white paper and actually launching the mainnet. And then Q4 2021, they're aiming to add those fiat rails to support on-ramping and off-ramping or getting your assets, your dollars, euros, whatever, from your bank into the platform. As you can see on the bottom here, got the option to join your join the waitlist today. Go ahead and type your email in there if you want to. Again, it's always good to get in on these projects early. So if you can be notified by an Algofy pre-token sale, getting in at the ground floor before it gets on any major exchanges or even before it takes fully off, you're positioning yourself in order to maximize your returns. As you can see here, this is Algofy's application or the DAP. It's on the top right corner, you can see we're on the testnet. This is the wallet that I connected to through my Algo wallet. And using the faucet, you're able to get test algo, opt in and request ASAs, as in your USDC, wrapped algo, yieldly, etc. So we're gonna get into it and just do a simple transaction. So I'm going to uh, supply USDC into the supply market. From the faucet, I receive 10. I'm going to hit max on the supply, estimated BUSDC to be minted, 9.98. We'll click supply. It's gonna ask for a signature. I will continue. I'm gonna enter my password to sign it. It's gonna go through and sign. And there we go, we have supplied it. Now we need to claim our BUSDC. We're going to claim it. Sign the transaction, enter your password to sign the transaction on the My Algo wallet, and there we go. We have claimed it. 
If I exit out of here, you can now see where I used to have a 10 USDC balance, I now have a 9.98 BUSDC balance. So now if we want to supply that BUSDC to our collateral, we select, go down to the bottom of the screen to your supplied section, click on the USDC tab. We're gonna go ahead and click max to add our maximum amount to the collateral. We'll click add and go ahead and sign our transaction, enter my password, and wait for confirmation. Now if we close out of this, once it's complete, you can see down here, added to collateral, balance of 10 USDC. So now that we've added some to our collateral, we can go up here to USDC. The collateral factor is uh, 0 0.5. So we can borrow half of our collateral. So if I click max, the max amount I can borrow in USDC is $5 because I supplied 10. We click borrow, we go ahead and we sign our transaction and wait for it to confirm. We see it completed and processed. We close out of this and now we look up at our balances at the top and it's listed at five USDC, which we borrowed. To get out of the positions, you just do the complete reverse of that. We're gonna repay our five USDC, unmint BUSDC back into regular USDC, and we're good to go from there. At the top, you can see there's a very slick looking interface that shows supplied, collateral posted, the max amount we borrowed and what we have borrowed. And it's a very easy to view and understand dashboard on our holdings and our DeFi positions. I just wanted to show you guys the slick interface, the UI, it looks incredible. And this is a very good way that we can supply our US dollars. And instead of having collecting 0.1% interest per year, we can supply it here in USDC, which is backed by one to one for a dollar and earn almost 4%, much better returns than in traditional banks. One last thing I'd like to go over is why you have to use BUSD. And according to the docs section on their site, it's claiming minted bank assets. So to support the interoperability across DeFi platforms, we have introduced the notion of bank assets. These can be thought of as an asset-based representation of an underlying collateral that has been deposited into the platform. So moreover, the BUSDC versus the USDC is just a way to represent that underlying asset while supporting the interoperability we need in DeFi. So that wraps it up for today. Again, if you like the video, go ahead and give me a like. If you want to comment, drop one in the comment section below. If you want some more content on DeFi and how we can use that to earn our financial freedom, go ahead and hit subscribe. We'll catch you next time on DeFi Tactics.